that uh, cancer itself and even cancer therapies can impact uh, on uh, myocardial function. But we also know that uh, the risk of developing heart failure due to these cancer therapies uh, may be avoided uh, if we implement preventive strategies because this risk is a dynamic condition that is influenced by cardiovascular risk factors or cardiovascular diseases or even the type of cancer treatment. So if we are able to stratify the baseline risk of our patients, maybe we are able to implement preventive strategies in order to minimize this risk. So just an example. If we have a patient with a breast cancer who has a past history of hypertension and diabetes, and she's going to receive anthracyclines, and blood pressure and diabetes is not under control, the risk of anthracycline related cardiotoxicity or failure is uh, twice or triple higher than if uh, we are able to control before anthracycline blood pressure and we take care of diabetes control during the cancer treatment. So we really need to work on risk stratification in order to implement general preventive measurements that are focused on healthy lifestyle and cardiovascular risk factor control. We do not uh, have a complete understanding of uh, the mechanisms that uh, lead to heart failure in all cancer patients. We know that cancer itself promotes an inflammatory milieu that uh, lead to myocardial dysfunction. And uh, there are different mechanisms by which uh, different cancer therapies induce mitochondrial dysfunction or endothelial dysfunction that leads to heart failure. So the aim of heart oncology is uh, to try to detect early stages of myocardial damage so that we can start uh, heart failure therapies to minimize the progression of uh, these early stages of heart failure to over clinical severe heart failure, which may be irreversible. So that's why we really need to optimize the monitoring of cancer treatment according to the cardiotoxicity risk to detect these early stages of uh, heart failure that allow us, again, to implement preventive strategies. Thank you.